All right, we'll cover something that is quite common and very, very important for anyone that is working in a team. And the question is how you can help your teammates if they're not rising to their full potential and if they're not feeling motivated. So there is three things that you can really do. There is a lot more, but three core things that you can do. Um, first is like you need to identify what is the cause? What is the root of the cause? Why this is happening? You have to uncover the real reason, not, not the BS reason, but the real reason for their underperformance. You need to establish whether the cause is related to a skill gap, lack of resources, or other external factors. And um, when we talk about skill gap, what we mean is areas where people are lacking the knowledge and competence to perform a critical task. Um, common skill gaps can be uh, something like technical know-how, how to, to do something, let's say online, or soft skills, like active listening. Um, the second point, which is the resource shortage, can arise from a variety of different things, such as poor planning, unrealistic expectations, um, changing priorities or changing priorities too often, which can result in a resource over allocation or under allocation. And this leads to lack of time, lack of people, uh, if, if you need to allocate people for a specific task or lack of money, most often. Um, external factors such as um, um, dealing with personal issues, this can be external factor they have a problems at home that, that is affecting their work or the quality of their work um, if they have personal issues at home. Um, they may have distractions um, at work. Um, they may have a lack of motivation or encouragement um, or problems with other team members or leaders. Um, offer training and support. So this is point number two. Offer training and support, provide a specific training, focus on equipping your teammates with the specific skills, the knowledge and the competence they require to perform the roles effectively. And, and offer your time as a mentor, to mentor them, to guide them, to coach them, to address the skill gap and provide the necessary support for improvement. And number three, establish clear expectations and daily feedback routine. It's like, it's so critically important. This is what most people don't do. They don't do feedbacks. They don't, they don't basically look how they're improving or they're not improving. Um, so habits are important, but if you're doing the wrong thing and you're building it as a habit, it can only harm you. So start with setting a very clear goals for what you want to accomplish for the next 30, 90, 180, 365 days. There is no point to, to put a goal for the next five years or 10 years if you're not doing the basics and you need to establish the basics. And this is, this is what you do in your first 30, 90, 180 days. Um, remove the outcome expectations and replace them with deposit or contribution expectations for each day. And at the end of each day, assess their performance. Provide regular feedbacks to address any performance issues proactively. Guide your teammates uh, step by step towards uh, unleashing their creativity, their generosity, their full potential. And by fostering a culture of support and setting a clear expectation, you will be able to provide a constant feedback and empower your teammate to transcend limitations and unleash their full potential, propelling the entire team towards a collective excellence and victory. Have an amazing day and I'll see you at the top.